Hey, what's up guys? KSK Ryle here. Welcome back to this another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to block software updates on your iPhone temporarily. So make sure that you watch the video till to the end. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let me quickly going to jump into the settings. So inside the settings, I'm going to choose general and then click on the software update. So by the time of the recording of this video, the current version of iOS is 11.2.1. So I really don't want to install this on my iPhone. So I want to stay under the iOS 11.1.2. As you can see, I'm currently running on the iOS 11.1.2. So all I can do is go ahead and check the link in the description. Open that link right inside the Safari browser. This will gonna be a take you to this page. When you're inside this page, all you need to do is you need to click on the download. So once you click on the download, it's gonna be as download the a watch OS beta profile. So go ahead, click on the allow to install it on your iPhone. So as you can see, it's downloaded. So basically, when you install the watch OS beta software profile on your iPhone, your iPhone will no longer gonna receive the iOS updates. So this will gonna be temporarily block your iPhone to getting the iOS updates. All you can do is simply click on install in top right corner and then you need to repeat one more time, install and then install. So this will gonna be ask you to restart iPhone. Go ahead and click on the restart. And after restarting your iPhone, so I'm gonna go back to the settings and inside the settings i'm gonna go ahead and choose the general and then click on the software update so as you can see it's not showing the ios 11.2.1 so meaning it's working so that means it is currently a block the all of the software updates of your iphone and you will no longer gonna be uh, receive the any software updates as long as you have uh, this watch os beta profile installed if you change your mind and if you want to get the normal software updates, go ahead and delete this watch OS profile and then that's it and go ahead and do the same thing, restart your iPhone and then go back to the settings and then choose general and then click on the software update. So you will be able to receive the uh, normal so software updates as usual as you can see showing I was 11.2.1. So that's how you can block your uh, software updates on your iPhone temporarily and if you like this video your thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you have any suggestions for any future videos do it in the comment section below that's it and thank you so much for watching I'm your host Casey Grail signing off bye bye now